So hey everyone, today I'll show you why the derivative of the natural log of x equals 1 over x. Okay, as usual, if we have a function f of x is derivative f prime of x equals, by definition, the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. Since in our case f of x equals the natural log of x, we can plug ln of x into our limit and we get the limit as h approaches 0 of the natural log of x plus h minus the natural log of x all divided by h. Okay, notice how we have a difference of logarithms. So using log properties, we can rewrite the whole limit as the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over h times the natural log of x plus h all divided by x. Okay, now we have 1 over h that multiplies the natural logarithm, so we can take this to the exponent. So this equals the limit as h approaches 0 of the natural log of x plus h divided by x to the 1 over h power. And we can also split this fraction in two. So this is just 1 plus h over x. And since the natural log is a continuous function, this is just the natural log of the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 plus h over x to the 1 over h power. Hey, notice how this part right here reminds us the definition of e. The Nepper number e by definition equals to the limit as h approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over h to the h power. So now let's do a substitution. Let t be equal to 1 over h. Okay, notice how when h goes to infinity, t goes to 0. So we get that e equals the limit as t goes to 0 of 1 plus t to the 1 over t power. Okay, notice that this is actually very similar to our previous limit. So to get the Nepper number here, we could actually do another substitution. So let, for example, n be equal to h over x. Okay, so notice that as h goes to 0, n goes to 0. So our previous limit is just the natural log of the limit as n goes to 0 of 1 plus n to the 1 over x times n power. So this is just the natural log of the limit as n goes to 0 of 1 plus n to the 1 over n power to the 1 over x. And since this part right here, as we saw here, is just e, this is just the natural log of e to the 1 over x power. So 1 over x times the natural log of e, that is just 1 over x. And we have finally proven that when you differentiate the natural log of x, you get 1 over x. If you enjoyed my video, subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Until next time, bye!